According to the CDC, the number of people with the flu has increased each week. Looking at this map right here, you can see Tennessee is in red, which means it has hit the highest level of people affected. This goes through February the 4th. After many districts closed for several days last week because so many students and teachers mm -hmm. were sick, the daily struggle to keep everybody healthy rages on. Hannah Lawrence introduces us to one Cleveland for it, fourth graders discovery. Hannah. Kim and Calvin, we've all heard the common advice, fight germs with bleach or other disinfectants. But one local fourth grader, who's also the cousin of one of our producers, used her science project to ask if there's a better way. She ended up winning her school's prize, and some of her findings are consistent with those of an Ohio State biochemist. I just felt kind of Lily Smith already had the bug going around school this year. Hey, we do have some kids still out sick, though. We wiped all the surfaces. Michelle Kraft is a custodian here at E.L. Ross. She helped clean the building last week when Bradley County Schools shut down for three days because of illness. This go around with the, the flu outbreak and stuff, we use strictly the Clorox wipes and the Lysol sprays throughout the building. Smith, in her last endeavor, set out to determine if those products get rid of the most germs. Science is my jam. Smith compared bacteria growth over seven days. The control is right down here. In bleach, Lysol, and a combination of essential oils mixed to make what's called thieves oil. I swab my toilet, my sink, and my bathtub. The white dots indicate germs. You can see throughout the project, thieves oil grew the least amount of bacteria, a finding that won her first prize at the science fair last night. She said the oils, and I was like, the oils, who did that? And then, and then, and then. I was like, oh no, that's me, and I started jumping up. Annie Pryor has a PhD in biochemistry from The Ohio State University. In a similar experiment, she found that both pure thieves oil and bleach killed bacteria. However, Lysol didn't perform as well as a disinfectant. Kraft says she may take this research to her manager and question whether it's worth looking into more. I just assumed, like everyone else, bleach and the Lysol would be the best cleaners. Pryor says it's not cost effective to clean with pure thieves oil since a small bottle can cost up to $80. She's currently studying how to dilute it to a point that it's cheaper to use but still effective. Kim. Yeah, thank you. Great story. Well, Pryor says bleach can damage some surfaces and that's why it may be wise to use essential oils to clean if she can find an effective dilution combination.